ஹாலிடேஸ் நாளே நம்ம ஜி டி ஹாலிடேஸ் தான் சவுத் இந்தியா நம்பர் ஒன் டிராவல் பிராண்ட் லேர்ன் ஃப்ரம் ஓவர் டூ பிப்டி மியூசிகல் கோர்சஸ் ஃப்ரம் சிக்ஸ் டிஃபரெண்ட் ஜானர்ஸ் விசிட் பி மியூசிஷியன் டாட் காம் சுரா ஸ்கூல் கைட்ஸ் டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி த்ரீ அண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் எடிஷன் அனைத்து வகுப்புகளுக்கும் தற்போது அனைத்து புத்தக கடைகளிலும் கிடைக்கும் ஆசிரியர்களின் நம்பிக்கை மாணவர்களின் எதிர்காலம் ஹலோ அண்ட் வெல்கம் பிளஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ரிவ்யூ எபிசோட் அபவுட் ஓம் ராவ்ஸ் ஆதி புருஷ் The film is a sci-fi fantasy take on Ramayana. It is high on visual effects and low on drama. That's the short motion of the review. The longer review follows. It may have spoilers. So do watch at your own discretion. Now, Adi Purush dispenses with the early parts of Valmiki's Ramayana and deposits us in the forest with Rama, Lakshmana and Sita. One of the big events is the abduction of Sita. So allow me to describe this stretch. So Ravana comes he casts a spell that binds Sita in vines she loses her senses and she begins to float like a corpse Ravana discards his beggar disguise and balloons to his original size he's a man monster an equally monstrous dragon like creature descends from the sky Ravana places Sita on it and begins to steer the dragon towards Lanka Jatayu intercepts Ravana in an attempt to save Sita he unleashes a sword and jumps off his mount that is the dragon and then he slays the giant eagle the dragon makes a swoop and catches Ravana in free fall they reach Lanka and alight on something that looks like a spaceship docking station from the Star Wars films now that is the general feel of Adi Purush the end result looks like a live action comic book and i mean this in somewhat positively as a showcase for visual effects the film is not bad at all the depiction of ravana's 10 heads is very imaginative lanka looks like a dark and permanently overcast outpost from the lord of the rings movies in contrast the forest rama and sita live in is filled with sunshine and peacocks the monkeys are not men with puffy cheek masks but cgi creatures whose lip sync with their lines is spot on the battle between vali and sugriva has been shot like a wwf video game in a temple run setting the rakshasas resemble orcs and skeletal vampires the extraction of healing liquid from the sanjeevani plant is staged like an occult ritual and an entertainingly ott touch is when we see ravana getting massaged by huge snakes but the drama is completely inert externally everything is vast but inside it's completely hollow at least saif ali khan gets to gnash his teeth and have some fun as ravana prabhas as rama and kriti sanan as sita give us nothing we don't feel their love we don't feel their sorrow when separated we don't feel the relief and joy when reunited i guess it says something when the villain introduction shot has more spice than the hero introduction shot of course the real issue is the writing the supposedly rousing speech rama gives his army is so generic i wouldn't have been surprised if the monkeys had yawned and dropped into a deep slumber and imagine this as a line of love from sita your shadow may leave you but i won't i mean come on prabhas always seems to be walking in slow motion and makes this 3 hour film feel even longer if all the brain work expended on the look and feel had been applied to the screenplay adi purush might have actually been an epic that's it about adi purush if you like this video review do subscribe to galata plus and see you soon at the movies holidays nale nama gt holidays tha south india's number one travel brand learn from over 250 musical courses from six different genres visit bmusician.com Sura School Guides 2023 and 24 edition அனைத்து வகுப்புகளுக்கும் தற்போது அனைத்து புத்தக கடைகளிலும் கிடைக்கும் ஆசிரியர்களின் நம்பிக்கை மாணவர்களின் எதிர்காலம்